Hi everyone! Hope everybody is doing great today. Uh, I thought I would go ahead and bring out Elizabeth today. Um, as you all know, if you've been following me for a long time, this used to be my mom's favorite doll. I mean, I would take her every uh, time I would see her at the nursing home. And this is the one that she bonded with so much. She just loved this little girl and um, I think it's because she's my preemie and she's small and that face is super cute so my mom every time I bring her out to do a video I think of my mom because this is her doll I consider this my mom's doll even though my mom had one in the nursing home herself it was a little boy and um, we actually uh, put that little baby boy that she carried around in while she was in the nursing home because she loved him so much she was feeding him and everything um, we put that in her casket when she uh, passed away. We put the baby doll with her um, because we felt that that baby needed to go with her because she loved it so much. But when I would come over, I would bring this one, and she fell in love with this doll. So I thought, okay, we're going to go ahead and do a changing on her. Now, I know she's got a bunny outfit on, but <laughs> I have another bunny outfit. I think she looks really cute in the bunnies. But this is a preemie from Carter's. Um, and sorry about the shadowing, guys. I had more problems with shadowing. It's ridiculous. Um, but it's like this teal color. Really pretty teal. And it's got these big bunnies on it. And I love it. It's like a little... The zipper... I don't know if this is a two-way. No, this is a one-way. They have some now that you can zip from the top and zip from the bottom. And they're really cool. But this is a Carter's outfit that I bought. And I bought it a while back ago. And I thought, I haven't done a video with her in a while. So I thought, let's bring out Elizabeth, put her in this cute little preemie outfit, and get her changed. And like I said, I know I'm gone from bunny to bunny, but uh, maybe I just have a bunny thing with her. I don't know what <laughs> they think. She looks really super cute. I mean, look at, look at her in that bunny outfit. So I thought, let's put her in a bunny sleeper. So she's, she's super cute. So, yeah, I thought, and, and she's bald and she has no hair, but it doesn't matter because once you put the bows on, and her being a preemie, it, I mean, she looks fine. She doesn't need hair. I think a lot of preemies don't need hair. A lot of babies don't even have hair when they're born. Some have very fainted hair, and some have tons. Um, but I thought, well, let's go ahead. Because um, I thought about painting her head. I mean, I can paint it without any problem. But I don't want to change her. I, I, I just want to leave her as her. My mom loved her as her. My mom never questioned her not having any hair. Um, but she did question her cute little bows on the top of her head. So <laughs> I thought, you know what, I'm leaving her bald. Uh, I think she's really super cute. Let me see if these have any buttons back here. No, they don't. This is just a really, for some reason, it's really tight. Um, wow. Was it this tight? It might have been this tight when I tried to put it on her. I'm not sure, but I'm sorry that she's kind of wiggling around a lot. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> there she is. Peekaboo. <laughs> she, uh, yeah, that was tight. And that's, that's a preemie outfit. And she's, she's definitely preemie. But this one, and sometimes Carter's, there are two pieces. Like when you have the, the pants and, you know, the top like this. They have a tendency to run a little bit small, I think, in my opinion. Um, so that may be why I had a little bit of a hard time getting her off. Now the sleepers that I'm going to put her in the sleeper, they run a little bit bigger because they're sleepers. Um, so she'll look fine in this one for sure. But I think that one, um, and I always keep her, the socks on in case anybody wonders. I, I always keep socks on them. It fills up this part of the foot a little bit better because sometimes their feet are so small that the sock helps to make it fit in here better. See? Now, I mean, like I said, you know, on their feet are like, her foot here is just like, oh. <laughs> She's got the cutest little toes. She really does. But the hot, the socks help to keep that all in line. So it helps to, it makes it like her foot is actually fuller. So I'm going to try to put this on this way. But yeah, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I have really bad allergies today. I woke up feeling like, wow, what, you know, I was outside for a little bit yesterday, but <clears throat> I guess maybe too much. You know, it was Memorial Day. Um, 
and it's kind of, yesterday was Memorial Day, <clears throat> excuse me, but I was outside for a little bit, maybe my allergies just, I don't know, for some reason, they're acting up, so, but we've had really bad, like, pollen and grass and all that kind of allergy stuff that's in the air, we've had it really bad here in Texas, so, uh, I think that's, it's affecting, I mean, my son, he came up and he's just, like, blowing his nose and everything else this morning, too, because he was also outside. So, um, yeah, lovely Texas weather uh, with the allergy stuff. I didn't even have that zipper down all the way, and I got around. But see how much cuter that the sleepers fit her <clears throat> versus the outfits? Um, and then you can also, it also has the ones where you can turn them over in her arms. And then you can do this. And then she can hide her hands because she's just a preemie and she won't hurt herself. <laughs> so I really love this part on, on uh, when they have them. Uh, I don't see too many. I mean, they still have them out there, but I haven't seen too many that will let you uh, turn them over. I guess maybe just on the preemie sizes, maybe. Um, so, but yeah, look at this outfit. So cute. I love this outfit. Oh my goodness. Look at you, Elizabeth. Look how, see how much cuter it fits? I mean, it just fits her. I love her in sleepers versus the two-piece outfits. Because she is a preemie, I think she needs to be in sleepers. But adorable. And I have this found this little weight uh, to match the bunnies. I would put this on her. We can see her little face. Okay. Is that too far down? <laughs> I like them, or I, I can wrap them and take it a little bit to the side. I do that, too, a lot of times. There, see, now you guys can see her. I think I had it a little bit low, and we got, this is just turned over just a little bit. Okay. There you go, girl. Hey, Elizabeth. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi, YouTube. Say hi. Say hi, Mommy in the sky. Hi, Mommy in the sky. I'm right here. <laughs> so... Yeah, so, every t like I said, every time I see her or I do anything with her, I think of my mom. Um, because of how much she loved this doll. And, and, I mean, I would bring her, I would bring a lot of other dolls. But she she loved my James. She loved James. And she loved seeing James. But James is three months. He's a little bit bigger. But, I mean, the minute I walk in the door, she wouldn't even say hello to us. Um, she would just, give me her. Give me her. I want her. Give me this baby. And, you know, she thought they were real. Uh, she had dementia. Um, and these make great dementia. Alzheimer's, oh my gosh, you don't realize how much these babies make a difference in, in their lives when they have these, you know, diseases. The Alzheimer's were, you know, my mom didn't have Alzheimer's, thanks God, thank goodness, but she did have dementia. So she didn't know that this baby was not real. She made this baby... She talked to her like she was real. Um, she would talk to her all the time. She would kiss her. She would do all sorts of things with her. But, um, you know, it, it, it's bittersweet. Um, I don't have my mom, but I do have this doll. And this doll takes me back to my mom every single time I see her laying in the crib or laying here on a table and doing a changing. I definitely see my mom all the time with her. So it's a great to have that memory and to have this baby and she will never leave my collection uh, this was my mom's baby uh, even though she had that little boy she would make me hold on to him and she would take him take her and just love on her the whole entire time we were there and she w she told me you guys one day she told us you go away I have the baby now you guys go have some fun we were there to visit her and she would tell us to go have some fun because she just wanted the baby. She didn't even care if we were there to visit her. She had her, and that's all that she wanted. Uh, so it's like, well, it's great to feel welcome, Mom. You know, I used to tell her that all the time, and she used to laugh. Um, she said, but no. She said, you you go ahead, and you take her. Uh, take, go out and do whatever you want. Go have some fun. Go eat lunch. Do whatever. I'll keep an eye on the baby for you. So like she was babysitting for me. So she very much uh, felt that this baby was real. I mean, you just, I do have videos of her uh, with my mom and her together just talking away. So those are memories I'll never forget. But 
Anyways, guys, um, I just wanted to show you a changing of Elizabeth and tell you, you know, for everybody that is new to my channel, the little story I had behind this doll, in case you didn't know, but she was definitely um, my mom's saving grace, I think, when she was in the nursing home. And her mind wasn't very clear. Um, but she knew us. She just knew as my dolls being real. She didn't think they were fake. So, um, in fact, a couple of times she told me, why are you here? You should be home taking care of the kids. Um, and she was talking about my other reborn dolls. So, it's just amazing. A lot of stories. A lot of fun stories, guys. So, I just wanted to share this little story with you for all my, my new subscribers who haven't heard about Elizabeth. Uh, there you go. So... But I just wanted to say thank you so much for spending a little time of your day today to come in and watch my videos. Uh, I can't express to you how much that means f to me that you can come in and say hello and leave a comment or subscribe or anything like that. I'm just grateful for you guys. You have no earthly clue how much uh, my subscribers mean to me. It really means the world. So I love you all. And on that note, I'm going to leave, and I will probably, no, I'll be most likely to see you on the next video. And have a blessed day, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.